Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Scale Modeler and today we're going to be taking a look at the Renault Universal Scout Carrier by Mirage Hobby and this is in 135th scale. Um, I bought this off of Amazon for about, uh, it goes for about 11 to $16 which is really nice. I mean it's it's a small model but um, it, it seems like it's got a lot of good detail. It's definitely a unique looking piece. It's It was developed by the French during the 1930s to uh, about 1940 and uh, it was used as a light armored carrier or a uh, towing vehicle for uh, different sorts of mortars and anti-tank guns but the uh, Germans eventually used it for just about everything. They mounted uh, machine guns on it. They even mounted uh, Pack 36s on it. They also towed Pack 36 uh, anti-tank guns, and they even had one where they mounted uh, rockets on the side. And they actually, they Mirage Hobby also has the uh, ones with the rockets and um also has uh one that looks really really crazy it has like almost two two turrets on it and they house uh two uh german uh mg34s or mg42s something like that um and it looks really it looks crazy i mean it, it's similar to a british uh, bren carrier in that it's a small track vehicle used for towing and uh some light transport i'm i'm sure guys could could fit on the top. Uh, there's only two real seats, I'm guessing driver and probably navigator. Um, and uh, so yeah, and I, I'm primarily bought, I actually bought this to tow this, uh, this is a model that I built some years ago and it's a, a German Pack 36 anti-tank gun and I, I haven't had anything t that could tow this or that was meant to tow it. Uh, I have a lot of tanks. I also have a Puma. Uh, but those really weren't used for towing because those are those are combat vehicles. And I really wanted something to get uh, a vehicle that would have towed this during World War II realistically. So um, yeah, and uh, that's where I came to this. I just happened to find it on Amazon. So uh, let's open it up. And the, the box art is actually Quite nice. I've never bought anything from Mirage Hobby, nor nor did I even hear of them. I know that Tamiya makes a uh, Renault E U E, and uh, they they have it with the with the trailer, the track trailer on the back. This one it shows it in the picture, but it doesn't actually come with it. And I'm not sure if you can buy it separately. I haven't really looked at what Mirage Hobby has uh, for products other than this, but. Yeah, let's take a look inside. I've already opened up the bags and started prepping the uh, model for, for building. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. One interesting thing to note is that the, the one that I got, which was direct from Amazon, it comes with, uh, it doesn't come with an English, with, with English instructions. It seems sort of like it's, um, geez, I don't know. Maybe could be in German. I don't know, but um, but yeah, it's a, so it's going to be interesting to build. I mean, there's the the instructions aren't really that comprehensive, anyways. There's only uh, about seven panels, and one of those panels is for the paint. And you can build two variants of this. You can build a a Wehrmacht version and a a French version. I'll be I'll be making the Wehrmacht version, of course, because that's going to go with my Pack 36. And uh, start with the the main spur here has the has the upper and lower hulls on it. Has the the side skirts right there, and they're they're actually it's really quite detailed. I mean, you can see on the side skirts here. I can focus. There we go. You can see that there's quite a bit of detail on that. It's quite nice. And the the upper hull has a lot of detail. There's a lot of hinges in there. And um, I'm really impressed with the molding. 
there doesn't seem to be very many tooling marks or mold marks on this. And that this is the cargo container that that goes on the back. Now hold uh, my pack 36 ammo, and here's the road wheels here. And again, these are very small. The, the, the one thing about this, it's, it doesn't have very, it seem to have very many parts. It only has three spurs, but these parts are very small and very delicate looking. It comes with some really nice plastic tracks that will look really realistic whenever they're installed. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It actually comes with four, but one spur is uh, for the... This is for the machine gun that comes with it, and I really don't... I don't know if this is a German gun or a French gun. I can't really tell, but it's not terribly highly detailed. I mean, it's it's adequate, but I have other... I have a weapons pack from Tamiya that comes with a bunch of German machine guns, anti-tank guns, uh, infantry weapons, and they're, they're a lot more highly detailed than this. This is the one sort of thing that uh, I wish was a little more detailed, because the the barrels on these are usually ventilated, I, I believe, and uh, there's no ventilation on there. It's mainly just a straight shaft with some bands on it, and it doesn't, doesn't look terribly detailed, but that's all right. That's not a big, that's not really a big Thing. And this is uh, the rest of the road wheels. I'm guessing this is for one for each side, maybe. I haven't really looked at the instructions in any great detail. Or maybe it's for two versions, because there's two sets of the... Um, uh, oh, actually, you know what? No, there isn't. I thought there was two sets of the little... Uh, cupola part where the driver sits, but this, these are actually two parts of the same thing, so, yeah. So those are both, that's just the drive gear there and some of the upper hull details. And, um, again, I'm, I am impressed with the molding on these. They're actually, it's, there's a lot of detail put into this. And even the tracks are very nice. They don't really seem to clip together, but they'll They'll glue together just fine, I'm sure. I haven't really dug into this at all yet. So, And uh, last but not least, we're going to take a look at the decals, which are sparse because it's such a small vehicle. But, again, they, it comes with the both the French and the Wehrmacht decals. If I can focus. There we go. And they're very hard to see because most of them are white, but... But it's just basically the unit unit numbers and uh, Iron Cross. And if you want to make the French version, you got the little French flags there. So, so yeah, I'm I'm impressed with this little vehicle. It'll I think it'll go nicely with my Pack 36. And you can sort of see the size comparison. Um, and even later on these would be mounted on to the top of of this vehicle and with and some of them had a a bracket where the it would go tires trails and all on top and then later on they just did away with the trails and took the gun part and just fixed it to the top um, of the vehicle itself much later in the war and it was just an effort to get more mobile anti-tank guns in the field and uh, start to just taking out Allied, uh, Allied and Soviet um, tanks wherever they could, because especially the T-34s were just in such high quantity that they're destroying what little tanks and armaments the Germans had at that time. So they wanted to really take those out and become more mobile with their anti-tank forces. But um, as far as the model goes, I'm really impressed with it. I think it's going to come together really well, and. Uh, yeah, just uh, stay tuned to my channel for more, um, for more models. I have a few more that I want to unbox and start building. I'm actually going to do some build videos on these, and uh, 
And so yeah, that's the Mirage Hobby Renault UE. Thank you.